Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, we are going to craft what I believe is currently the most broken Pierce Damage build. A few weeks ago, I created a build with the Bloodfins Fork, a very powerful spear from the DLC, but plenty of you guys told me that the Naginatas are the best option to do that build. For that reason, today we are going to craft a build around the dual Naginatas to verify if they are actually a better weapon than the Bloodfins Fork. With that being said, let's jump straight into the build. This time, we are going to use two cross Naginatas on plus 25 with the Seppuku Ash of War on the Occult Affinity, and we need any seal we have available to cast our main buffs. We are going to use any weapon with the Raptor Optimist Ash of War to easily dodge their advanced light explosion attack and the Commander Gaius charge attack, but it also helps to dodge any other difficult attack. We are going to be rocking 3 pieces of the Rakshasa's armor set that will increase our damage by a total of 6%. We are going to combine this with the White Mask for a 10% damage boost with each Bleed proc. The best talismans we can use for this build are the Twin Blade Talisman, the Lord of Blood's Exultation, the Millicent's Prosthesis, and the Rodent Windsor Insignia. If you are missing one of these talismans, you can also use the Spear Talisman. When facing enemies immune to bleed, we will use the same setup, but instead of using Seppuku, we will use Crack Blade and we will replace the Bleed buffs. We will use the entire Rakshasa's armor set and we will replace the Lord of Blood's Exultations with the Spear Talisman. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic, we will use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear and the Thorny Crack Tear, but feel free to use any other tier you find useful. With this build, we are going to be dealing only physical damage, that's why our best body buff is going to be Blood Boil Aromatic. But if you don't like crafting, feel free to use Flame Grand Me Strength. And for some reason, any build related with Power Stance moveset is going to consume a lot of stamina. So be sure to craft some Pickle Turtle next to boost your stamina regeneration speed. To get the max performance of these weapons and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 50 on Vigor, 15 on Mind, 40 on Endurance, 16 on Strength, 36 on Dexterity, 25 on Fate, and 90 on Arcane. Golden Vow and Flame Grand Me Strength are going to be our main buffs. And as you can see, I have my Scatter Tree Blessing on the level 20. And if you want to deal the same amount of damage I'll be dealing to the hardest DLC bosses, be sure to have it on the level 20 as well. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. Now I'll show you how to buff your character with this build. First we're going to use our Flask of Wondrous Physic, then we're going to cast Golden Vow, and we're going to eat a Pickle Turtle Neck. Then we're going to use Seppuku on our left hand weapon, we are going to use our body buff, in this case it's going to be Blood Boil Aromatic. If you want to use Flame Grand Strength, you have to do it before. Then we are going to use Seppuku on our right hand weapon, refill your FP, your HP, and with that you should be ready to go. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? Now let's show some real damage baby, let's go, let's go crazy. What up man? Okay. I don't like that one, but it's not the end of the world, you know? Give me some good RNG, baby. Oh my god, you are not a very nice guy, honestly. Come on! <laughs> the guy's just standing still, bro! <laughs> okay, guys, let's go. Careful there. That's very good. Oi! You are over. You are over! Oh, beautiful! <laughs> as soon as I reach this second candle, I do it. And hopefully this time I'll be able to dodge normally. Come on, the third one. I knew it, bro! I knew it, baby! Come on! Come on, baby, give it to me! Oh, let's go! Come on! Get down! Oh! <laughs> He's even stronger than the other one, bro! <laughs> Use Seppuku quickly and be prepared to deal some heavy attacks. That's the only way you're going to do it as fast as possible. Otherwise, you will be locked into the second phase and that's gonna be a complete nightmare. Oh, oh, unlucky. Unlucky. Careful here. It's gonna go up. It's very good to use it to retrieve our stamina. Now, this destroyer, baby. Come on. Come on. Easy. Easy peasy. Let's go. Nice, guys. I go and I use it, right? Let's go. So we don't need to heal here, don't worry. What we need is a very good RNG to not get completely destroyed trying to get a full combo. So, let's pray a little bit. Nice. Come on, give me the third one. Give me the third one, baby. Oh, let's go! We got the third one, baby. Come on. Give me a good RNG here, baby. Come on. Give me a good RNG. And get off! Let's go! Oh, let's go! <laughs> I almost took a hit from that thing, bro! <laughs> okay, 
Hey Malenia, be prepared. Oh, bad idea, Malenia. Oh, bad idea, Malenia. Oh my god. Very nice. Oh, oh, bad idea, Malenia. Oh, Malenia. Oh! <laughs> okay, baby, let's destroy this bad boy. A classic one, in my opinion. What up, bro? The good old times. Come on. Oh, you are dirty. <laughs> ah, oh my god, that. <laughs> and now we go. Let's destroy him, baby. Let's destroy this bad boy. Nice. Get ready. Oh, ho, ho, ho. unbelievable. I didn't know it was gonna happen, bro. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the real thing here, bro. That's the real damage of this thing. Okay, here we go, baby. Nice. Easy and smooth, baby. It's going to be better against the Elden Beast, honestly, guys. Okay, here we go. What do we have here, Elden Beast? Some real damage, right? Some real, really good damage, baby. That's what we have here today. <laughs> no shot, bro. <laughs> Come on. So we destroy this guy and we do it. And now we run. And as soon as we get safe, we do it again. Come on. Ooh. And destroy him. Come on. Let's go. Amazing, bro. Come on. Let's do this, guys. Let's destroy Veil. Okay, homie. What is it going to be now? Oh my gosh! Oh, careful there. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh. Careful there. <laughs> nice. So as soon as we enter the arena, we use Seppuku and we heal immediately and we use our horse. With that, we should be good to go. And we turn around and we dodge. Nice, nice, nice. This is working nice. Okay, let's spray a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Come on. Do it just fine. And here we can use it. Come on. The triple input. Oh. I think he, I think he's consistently there, bro. Maybe here I, we can. Oh, destroy him! Oh, okay. Well, it was not the best against this guy, but it's more than decent. <laughs> Quickly, my first crack blade, second crack blade, and now I lose my blood boil aromatic, and everything must go very well. Why are you doing it so early, bad boy? Please tell me it's over. Tell me it's over. No! Oh my god. I don't like this boss fight. 